When I look at Jim's paintings, what I see is multi-imagery, many, many images of many, many different thought patterns all blended together or worked together. You know, if you ask about what are Jim's greatest contributions, I say it's a combination of being the great painter that he is and the great storyteller. Without directly commenting on American society, Rosenquist was able, nevertheless, to show us what we were about as American people. And what we saw in his work, I think, both delighted us and it also scared us as to what we were capable of doing. Everything you see about Jim Rosenquist painting, Jim painted, <laughs> whether it's a brush or an airbrush, he's a phenomenally talented person who's able to, you know, out of his own head, create imagery or whatever he needs at the moment he needs it. Being a billboard painter, I think, taught him several things. It taught him what American culture was about. It taught him what were the things that were being sold to the American people. But it also taught him how to paint in new and different ways, and how to make a statement simply but powerfully, and to combine images together. His work captures the political and cultural tenor of the time. He's demonstrated his command of line and color and texture and shape. And he's able to bring all these different worlds together from, you know, issues with regard to war to consumerism, pop culture. And he was able to take bits and pieces of this culture and put them in these fantastic collages, these wonderful montages that really told us a lot about ourselves. And by doing that, he got beyond abstract expressionism and into something which later became known as pop art. He's used his art and his notoriety to be an activist, to help with causes on behalf of artists and the arts. He has lobbied for artists' rights going all the way back to the 70s when, when those ideas were first brought forward. Jim has had work on loan to art and embassies since the mid-70s. I think it shows his commitment to an understanding of the importance of civic duty and cultural exchange. James Rosenquist has been someone who's been concerned about social issues. He's someone that's been concerned about artists' rights. He's someone that's concerned about the place of artists in the world. I think his work today is as powerful as it was back in the early 1960s, and he continues to be an artist who forces us to see ourselves and to look at ourselves in a mirror.